How are you later? Remark. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I just wanted to say that for the past two years, the House of Representatives has forged ahead together in an historic way as we watch the federal government paralyzed by political gridlock and gamesmanship, much of which we and our constituents decry, Hawaii is pushing forward and showing that bipartisan cooperation and leadership is not only possible, but also an effective way to govern and to put the public first. Representatives from both sides of the aisle came together in the spirit of cooperation, guided by a commitment to reform. From this cooperation evolved a strong working relationship that led to the entertaining of new ideas a more egalitarian way of doing things, and a finding of common ground in spite of our diversity of opinions and beliefs. Whether it was ensuring a solid educational foundation for all of Hawaii's children through increased kindergarten opportunities, engaging in dramatic and needed budgetary and fiscal reform, addressing Hawaii's clean energy future, meeting the many health and human services needs of Hawaii's people, recapitalizing funds, and addressing our unfunded liabilities, or taking steps to honor our veterans for their service to our country, this House has made serious and needed reforms to move forward together, in spite of all of our differences. These past two years have demonstrated that elected officials can overcome politics as usual and achieve something rather extraordinary, especially in the modern political environment and that is taking off the politician hat and embracing the mantle of leadership as public servants. On behalf of the Minority Caucus, I wanted to take time to express my profound appreciation to all of the staff who labor tirelessly to make everything we are a part of happen. To the House Minority Research, the House Majority Staff Office, LRB, the House Chief Clerk's Office, the House Sergeant at Arms Office, and the Public Access Room, mahalo for your constant work and your help in facilitating the legislative process and for your service to the people of Hawaii. I also wanted to thank, uh, to express my heartfelt gratitude to this body for their commitment to the people of Hawaii as well. It has been a real privilege to work with each and every one of you. We may not have always agreed on matters of policy. We may not have agreed on methods to achieve our goals, but through it all, we remained focused on serving the people of Hawaii. More specifically, I would also like to extend my appreciation to my minority caucus. Though we've only been seven in number, I think we worked hard to add to this body. Ours is the road less traveled, but we charted a new course for the minority, finding common cause and common ground where it can be found, and when necessary, dissenting in our views. I've come to appreciate each of your individual and distinct perspectives, and have continually seen how our diversity adds to our strength. Thank you again for the opportunity to serve as your minority leader and for faithfully working to add something unique and different to the House and for taking a different path. To you, Mr. Speaker, to our majority leader, and to the rest of the House leadership, I also want to honor you for taking the road less traveled these past two years. Mahalo for your partnership with the Minority Caucus, even when we dissented. Mahalo for your leadership and stewardship of our House and the House of Representatives. Much more lies in store for this body. There is much work and many good things to be done. I think that's something we can all agree on. After the progress made in this biennium, I believe that great days lie in store for our state of Hawaii. I also know that we, as public servants, will play an active role in bringing these great days to pass. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Minority Leader. Thank you very much.